On day seven of unit nine, we looked at secants, tangents, and angle measures. And we talked about what happens if our angle is inside the circle, if it's on the circle, or if it's outside the circle. So starting with here, we're going to have one question with angles that are inside the circle. We have two examples. Find the indicated measure in each circle, the measure of angle one and the measure of angle two. Our formula that we're going to use is the angle equals, when we're inside, one half the sum of the two intercepted arcs. So for this one, I can see here is my angle that's inside. And when I come out, my first intercepted arc on one side is 52, and the other intercepted arc on the other side is 40. So that angle, the measure of angle 1 that I'm trying to find, is going to be equal to 1 half the sum of the two intercepted arcs, which is going to be 40 and 52. So the measure of angle 1 is going to equal 1 half of 92. So the measure of angle 1 is going to equal 46 degrees. For my second problem, when I look at this one, the angle they want me to find does not go with the intercepted arcs that I was given. The intercepted arc of 48 and the intercepted arc of 38 goes with this angle right here. So I first I'm going to find this angle here. I'm going to call it X. And then once I know what that is, then I can use that to help me find the measure of angle 2. Again, I'm going to use this formula. The angle, which I'm calling x, is going to equal 1 half the sum of the two arcs. My two arcs are 48 and 38. So x is going to equal 1 half of 48 plus 38. is 86. And when I take half of that, x is going to equal 43. Now that is the pink angle. I want the green angle. To find the green angle, what I need to do is realize that these two together make up this line. It's not in diameter, but it is a line, which means there are still 180 degrees on either side. So if I've used 43 degrees out of my 180, that's going to leave me with the remaining degrees for angle 2. So when I take away 180 minus 43, that's going to leave me with 137 degrees. So the measure of angle 2 will equal 137 degrees. That's how you find angles that are formed inside the circle, but not at the center of the circle.